Hello there guys, today I'm going to show you how to make yourself anonymous online. Um, this is useful for thousands of different reasons, but I'm just going to quickly start by explaining what anonymity is on the internet. So, when you connect to the internet, everyone who's connected will have a public IP address. This is this number here, you can type yours into the IP address box up here on Google. Uh, mine today is 90.2.19.139.147, which will be changed. Uh, after this video, um, what we need to do is we need to change that to um, make yourself anonymous online. So I'm not going to faff about here, I'm just going to jump straight into it. Go to the link in the description, which will be this link. Down here, you have the free PPT VPN option. Now, this is the best option. Select the server that's closest to you. So this is Europe. I'm in the UK at the moment, so I'm going to copy this server here and I'm going to go to the arrow button here on Windows 8 or the open button, go to your internet, go into Open Network and Sharing Center. Okay, from now you click Set Up a New Connection. Click on Connect to a Workplace. Use My Internet Connection for a VPN, Virtual Private Network. And just name whatever you want. I'm going to name mine VPN1. Hey, re remember my credentials and click on Create. So here's your VPN one. Uh, this will pop open here. You want to click connect to that network. Now if we go back to the page before we do that, sorry. You see the username and password down here. I'm going to copy my my password. And I'm going to type in the username. Click here. Click connect. So the username here is VPN book. This username and password may change from day to day. So be sure to actually go to think and check up on it. And then I'm just going to paste the public password for this VPN and hit OK. So now you can see it's connecting to the new server and while it's correcting I'll just explain quickly what's going on here. Instead of you personally accessing the internet and accessing the pages or downloading the files that you are, what we're doing here is we're going to redirect our network traffic through a server so it appears to anything that you're downloading or anything that you're logging on to that you're actually accessing that website or downloading that file from that server. So we're channeling our internet through here. So now if we go back to my IP address, that's what it was. Now if I click refresh, hopefully give it some time. This shouldn't actually really slow down your internet connection speed as you're just channeling it through a different server. Um, but yeah, it does take a little bit of time to kick in. Here we go. And that is my new IP address here, 176.126.237.217. And it should really have a similar connection to your own. Um, Mine was never that fast anyway, but there you go. That's everything. Okay, guys, thanks very much for watching the video. Please subscribe down below and have a good day.